Hello and welcome, this is Alistair Christie, and today we're going to look at form creation and destruction. Let's start by creating our VCL forms application, and to that I want to add another form. Okay, and I'll just go into the project options and disable the auto form creation for form 6. And let's make that a little bit smaller. And on our form 5, I'm going to add a button, and I'm going to call it Create Form 6. Assigned Form 6, and we don't have uh, our Unit 6 um, used, which I'll add that to our uses, and so form 6 gets assigned a t, t form 6 dot create application. So we create a new form 6 which is owned by the application and assign it to form 6. And, and we'll just show that. Okay, let's run that. And rather unexcitingly, we can create a Form 6, and only one of them. And if we wanted to get carried away, we could place a breakpoint there. Okay, so it's first time round, not assigned, so we create it and then show it. And then second time round, it's already created, so we um, it just gets shown. If we look at the project source, we'll see that we've got this uh, create form method on the application. So I might just be lazy and copy that and come back here. and make it Form 6. And this does pretty much the same thing. OK, let's go back to our form and add another button. That's one. In fact, we'll call it create a modal form 6. And if we go into here, and what I'm going to do is use the with statement with tform 6.create. show modal and free. So this time uh, I'm not um, assigning the owner property and so that makes us responsible for freeing it, which we're doing here, and we're displaying it with the show modal and the uh, program execution stops at show modal of course um, until we close the form. So we can run that and we've got a form 6 and it's uh, modal. And we can alter this slightly. I can say try and finally, because you might have some code here and some more code there, um, which might generate exceptions. And um, you always want to free things if possible. And I'll just verify that that works. And we've got another modal form 6. So let's add another form to our project. Form 7. And what I'm going to do is on the on close event, I'm going to tell it to close itself. We have this parameter called uh, action, 
which is a of type T close action. Set it to CA free, and um, this will teleform to, to free itself when it closes. And we'll need to add a, another button. And this one can be create a T form 7. And in the uh, click event, um, I'm going to be really brief with my code here. T form 7 dot create and um, that's in seven. Um, I'll say no. Dot show. Um, the create or the constructor gives us an instance of T form seven, and then we just call show on it, and we can run that, and we get a T form seven. Now, I should have actually, if we go back to in here, and we'll go and put a on destroy event. And we'll say, help me, I'm dying. It's not probably not a useful dying, but anyway, help me, I'm dying. In fact, it's definitely not a useful dying, but um, my spelling doesn't really matter at this point. I think I'll leave uh, factory methods to another movie uh, as we're running out of time, so we're done. We looked at a number of ways of creating forms with T form 6. We first created it like any other object using its constructor, and then we used the create form method. We then used the with statement utilizing both a begin end block and a try finally block. And finally, no pun intended, looked at self freeing forms with T form 7, which can be really concise with the construction code. And for all you spelling Nazis out there, dying is in fact spelt with a Y which only goes to prove that programmers can't spell and you shouldn't get them to write your manuals. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.